today we're shooting the cover of Ali Simpson's new single. What's it called, Ali? It's called Notice Me. And it's a very catchy tune. We've been <laughs> listening to it quite a lot. I'm yep. completely in my head now. Stuck in this. So we're going to be doing like a really cool shot on a floral wall. Um, so we're going to be doing Ali with beach waves today. Because we want that really natural beachy texture, we're not going to smooth it out too much with the blow dryer. I just put a little bit of volumizer into the roots to give it a little root lift. Ali already has great hair as it is, but today we're going to add a little bit of extra hair. Extra hair is always fun. For a little extra length and a little extra volume. By sectioning the hair at the bottom, these sets of clip-in extensions are really an inexpensive way to be able to add a little bit of extra hair for events that almost anyone can do for themselves. So we're taking the first piece at the bottom, just going to back comb it just a little at the root, just so the clips have got something to hang on to. They usually come in different length pieces of how many clips. One, which is usually a two clip. The best one to put right at the nape of the neck. Or back combing. If you want them to have a little bit more longevity and stay in a little longer, once you've back combed it, and actually give it a little quick spray of hairspray. The next one I'd probably use is the three. Then across the widest part of the head, you put the four clip. Two little ones on either side. So as you can see, that was so easy and we've instantly added so much volume to our hair. So now we're going to start with the beach wave art tool first. And we're basically going to just press in the beach waves like kind of an old fashioned crimping iron. And a beach wave is supposed to be kind of messy and organic, so you don't need to be too precise. I usually only do two presses per piece of hair. And you just need to do the extension hair exactly the same as you do the natural hair. So the beach waver doesn't actually need to create a curl, it's just putting indents in the hair to give you that natural body. If these tears were gasoline, I'll let a fire make you notice me. So you can actually pre-wave all of the extension pieces before you clip them in if you want to save a little time. You can do this with different size irons as well. To create a stronger wave, use a smaller iron. And to create a softer wave, use a larger iron. And just so it's not too uniform, you can always go through and pull out a few of the pieces that you did previously with the beach waver. And just put like a random little curl here or there. Okay, so for beach hair, the kind of dirtier it is, the better to get the same look as it would if it occurred naturally. So today I'm going to do that by putting in a couple of different products. Firstly, a kind of oilier product to create the shine. So the opposite product to that is more of a dry shampoo. So they will combat each other and this will dry out some of that more oily product that we've just put in. And just together it will create a little bit more grit in the hair. Don't be scared about breaking up the waves, it's meant to look really natural. Alright Ali, have a look. I'll have a look on my selfie camera. Oh, what? What do you think? It looks so sick. Cool, isn't it? It's like you've been surfing. I know, I look like a mermaid. 